Now a balance sheet, very simply put, while people call it as a statement of assets and liabilities, very state simply put, it is a statement of what we owe to anyone else versus what we own. Correct? What we owe is basically money that we have raised from various people. So this is also known as sources of funds. With these funds, we will go and buy some assets or some business generating items. This is application of funds. What we owe is also known as liabilities. What we own will also be known as assets. Correct? Now liabilities could usually be in two forms. You could either raise equity, share capital or you could raise debt. Debt is a very very obvious liability. If you borrow money you have to return it back. So it's a very clear fund, says, you know, source of fund and what we owe to someone. Equity is not so explicit because you know an investor has put in money but at some stage he will want his money back with returns. So take the example of when we look at a company like Reliance etc. We don't really understand this in too much detail because they are listed firms already working. Take the example of a firm like Flipkart. Someone would essentially have put in money in the form of equity. He would want to sell his stake at some point of time to make money out of this entire deal. So essentially Flipkart could have raised money either through equity or through debt and use this money to purchase assets. This is what a balance sheet looks like. Typically this is the division in between a balance sheet. On the left side you would have or on the right side whatever conventions we don't really worry too much about them. Top or bottom, right or left. One side would essentially talk entirely about the liabilities. The other side would talk about assets. Liabilities are sources of funds or what we owe to someone else. Assets are application of funds or what we own. Any kind of assets. What, what would assets include? Plant and machinery, uh, goodwill, investments. Uh, inventory, all these are assets, correct? Cash, all these are assets. So essentially it has to balance. There is no way that the source of funds and application of funds cannot match, correct? That's what a balance sheet would look like. It will always balance. You will find that if I borrow 100 bucks to buy an ice cream vending machine worth 50 rupees and have another 50 with me, the source of funds is 100 borrowed by me application of funds is 50 fixed asset ice cream vending machine plant and machinery and 50 in cash current asset cash and bank balances so at any point of time the sources of funds and application of funds would match also whatever business transactions a company takes any business transaction would result in either of the two things one same change on both sides of the balance sheet. Take for example if Reliance goes and borrows 100 crore as loan, 100 crore will come in on the liability side as loan and immediately this money would also flow into the bank account so this will also come on the asset side as cash. Correct? Alternatively it could be a rearrangement of items on one side. Correct? So in the first example we saw Reliance borrowed 100 crore. This 100 crore is sitting in the bank so there is a change on both sides. Now at some point of time Reliance uses this 100 crore to buy a piece of land. So cash goes down, fixed asset goes up but this is nothing but a rearrangement of things on one side of the balance sheet which is the asset side. Correct? Whatever happens on the balance sheet or whatever happens in the business will change the balance sheet on either side. This is an important important concept to understand because this is what essentially makes the balance sheet balance at all points of time. Fine. Let's also understand that balance sheet is at a point of time. So when we are looking at a balance sheet at any instant, it actually incorporates a lot of data points from historical uh, you know, precedents of the firm. So balance sheet for a firm in 2012 would have traces of items that they might have purchased in 2007, 2008, 2009. Both the PNL and cash flow are 
only for a year they are not for multiple years correct so looking at this year's profit and loss account i really don't know what the company did last year looking at this year's balance sheet i can get a sense of what the company had in place last year correct so that's an important uh, premise to understand that balance sheets if a company has done something right or wrong over a period of time it will almost always be on the balance sheet it will not go away